<clears throat> Damn guys, I just don't know if I should release this video. The modeling poses I'm about to show you now are just so powerful. They could change Instagram forever. It's me, Mario. What is up, Carrie Kingdom? So let's just face it. Deep down, every single one of us wants to be Alexis Ren. She's an Instagram model. She's got millions of followers, and she's got really, she's got really great character. But if you want to take incredible pictures for Instagram, you don't need a 15-inch waist. Instead, you can just follow Mario's top seven secret ancient poses and the last one's gonna blow your mind. So keep watching until the end and let's get started. All right, posing secret pose number one is called the hand job. Yeah, you heard me right. You just give yourself a hand job, meaning you take your hand and you massage it. It's gonna sound weird, but in pictures, the most awkward thing is always when you try to pose and you don't know what to do with your hands. But once you pose in a picture and you just casually touch your hands, it's always gonna look profound as you know, you can stand like this, massage your hand, and seductively look over your shoulder. You can even bring your hands closer to your face and look at the camera while you always keep touching your hands. That's what I do in every single shot. Sometimes some of the best shots were taken when I just keep moving my hands, move in front of my face. Do it, I promise you it's gonna make your pics look more natural. All right, then pose number two. Once you're done with your hand job, you're gonna get a dog or just any other prop. Same principle. Once you don't know what to do with your hands, it's gonna look awkward. Once you have a prop like this beautiful Carrot Kingdom cup on sale right now at carrotkingdom.shop, it's beautiful because it helps you to look more candid. You know, for Instagram, we wanna have situations that are more relatable. So just take a cup, take a zip, look over the cup into the distance, or get any other prop that suits your personality and your brand, like flowers, a nice jacket that you can hold on to while you pose, or a book that makes you look a lot more profound and intellectual or a baby tiger that shows your passion and sexiness Meow. or sunglasses or a fidget spinner even though that's so 2016 or just the way I do it with a nice and crunchy carrot all right, guys, once you found your favorite object, sometimes you won't have anything to interact with. So then it's time to do the epic gaze into the distance. You just imagine that you're a pirate and you imagine something really deeps happening inside you, but you don't know what it is yourself. It creates this, this curiosity of the viewer. They want to find out, oh, what is he looking at? You can even add a caption saying, what am I looking at? And then they can come up with very profound shit or just... A lot of penis comments. But the thing is, once you feel uncomfortable, just show your jawline, look away to the side and into the distance. All right, pose number four is a very useful one if you want to take full body pictures because if you stand there like a soldier, it's gonna look awkward as hell. But once you move, it's gonna look a lot more dynamic and easy. So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna go for a walk. And once you do that in your picture, it adds an element of dynamic. Like, I don't know how the camera picks it up, but you can feel your body posture, your whole energy changes. Once you are a little bit in motion, it looks more interesting. You don't have to pose for Instagram, like doing some crazy ass poses. But if you just wanna take like normal pictures, a gentle rock back and forth or a little jump but it's gonna help you to look more dynamic and to make your shots look more, again, natural. All right guys, then pose number five, if you're done looking natural and normal, just go do crazy shit. There's a thin line. Sometimes you do weird stuff, like weird faces. If you don't commit, if you do them a little bit, you just look like very weird, right? But if you fully commit and you act stupid, like a lot of Instagram people do, then it looks okay. So you can go for the peace sign, you can go for the exaggerated grin, the duck face. Because once you exaggerate it, it's funny, right? I always go for the smirky, winky, cheesy grin, kind of like that. Instagram has a place for that. Instagram should not be full of modeling pictures because we're not all professional models. You can look at those pictures in fashion magazines. You see blue steel on every single page. But I think on Instagram, you can do stupid shit, peace signs, it's all approved. Come up with your own signature move and it's gonna be more fun for everybody. All right guys, pose number six requires a lot of dramatic talent because it's called the I see you. So for that pose, you're gonna be facing away from the camera and at a count of three, you're just gonna dramatically 
turn around. One, two. So if you have hair, it creates this amazing hair flick. And if you don't have hair, it just looks really badass. When you walk away, you have a coat on. You can even combine it, hold your hand, give yourself a hand job number one and then you look back over your shoulder into the camera it also shows up your jawline i love that freaking pose it's so manly it's so strong it makes me feel like a gorilla grown-up cool person do it okay guys and then my last secret and my absolute favorite one in the darkest and most powerful ancient modeling pose is throw stuff in the air a lot of girls started throwing rose petals or flowery stuff in the air because it just adds so much more to your picture if you there's so many selfies taken so many of the same poses but if you add something interesting like throwing some flowers in the air it's gonna look so much more interesting and if you don't like flowers just look for something else and maybe you're gonna take a picture and on one two three you're gonna pose blue steel it's raining carrots hallelujah And there you got the shot. So basically what I mean by this, don't be afraid to stand out on Instagram and do some weird shit. And now, before I tell you the biggest secret when it comes to posing in general, I have one quick announcement to make. So you might have noticed that I have a thing for carrots and I'm so happy that you guys are part of the carrot kingdom. So if you want to join the family, I can now announce that you can get these shirts on my new website called Carrot Kingdom. Dot shop. I also have some mugs and socks, a lot of new stuff coming. So they're gonna sell out really quick, share the carrot love around the world. And I would love for you to be part of this movement where we make fun the priority and achieve our goals and stay healthy. All right, now back to posing. Like I promised you, the biggest secret that I learned in my modeling career is to always, always keep moving and making fun the priority. So don't be afraid to do weird stuff. The most important thing is that you don't stand still. Move your hands, just have those seven poses ready and play with them, you know? Throw your hands up in the air, give yourself a nice little hand job, get a freaking prop from the new Carrot Kingdom shop, Take a walk, be dynamic, and most importantly, don't be afraid to look stupid because once you make fun the priority, like in everything in life, you're gonna win, and that's also true for modeling and for posing on Instagram. So guys, what you're gonna do right now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and also, if you wanna get one of those beautiful t-shirts, go over to Carrot Kingdom, links in the description below. I would love to see your picture there. Thank you so much for watching Carrot Kingdom. Always remember, one carrot a day keeps the doctor away, and I'll see you in my next video. I've been flying from town to town From London to Taiwan I've been all around the globe Trying to protect your soul